PS2 games are playable on the Switch thanks to the Either SX2 app, which you can run on an Android installation. Now when it's Halloween, what wouldn't be more perfect than to run the most iconic survival horror games for the PS2? After all, there's nothing more horrifying than running away from a certain death with tank control. So how does the gameplay hold up on the Switch? We'll go through them for each game that I tested. First up is Clock Tower 3, released by Capcom in 2003. This won't be the only game by Capcom in this video. There are some slowdowns here and there, but overall it's a great experience. Failure Frame was released by Tecmo in 2002. A major problem with this game is the graphical glitch when you take a photo. The photo becomes black which stops you from progressing, but this can be fixed by changing the software renderer. However, you need to change back to Vulcan or else the gameplay will become super slow. Failure Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly was released by Tecmo in 2003. Luckily, this game doesn't have the previous camera glitch, but sadly the gameplay is too slow to be enjoyable. Next one is another game by Capcom released in 2005. Haunting Ground has some really disturbing controls, but that's the original design of the game and nothing to do with the emulator. Slowdowns during action scenes are common, but gameplay overall is okay. Kuon was released by From Software in 2004. It's one of the lesser games known from the same studio. They gave us the Soulsborne games and recently Elden Ring. I really looked forward to playing this, but sadly it's way too slow to be enjoyable. Only the menu screen runs at full speed. Resident Evil Code Veronica X is our third game by Capcom released in 2001. It's running pretty slow with major slowdowns during action scenes, which makes this a painful experience. Rule of Rose was released by Atlas in 2006. It was so controversial it received a ban in the UK. It has a noir filter which can't be turned off and the game runs really slow. Once you're out of the woods it runs better though. Silent Hill 2 was released by Konami in 2001. It will get a remake released on the PS5. It runs really well with some minor slowdowns during action scenes. Konami released the sequel Silent Hill 3 in 2003. Unfortunately, this doesn't run as well as Silent Hill 2, and there are some major audio stutters here and there. Siren was released by Sony Computer Entertainment in 2004 and had amazing graphics for its time. This game runs great with no slowdowns or audio stutter. Anyway. We must hurry now. The Suffering was released by Midway Games in 2004. This game feels like it could have been released by Rockstar Games. It runs great with barely any slowdowns, even during action scenes. So that wraps up the tests for this video. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any favorite survival horror game, please let me know in the comments below.